Welcome back. So in 2019, the Disneyland Paris Tower of Terror put out a new promotional video called A New Dimension of Chills, um, Are You Brave Enough? It was basically to try and promote uh, the ride that had some upgrades to the uh, videos and the theming and what you see and the drop towers. So I thought it was a wonderful commercial and I have highlighted it in some of the videos I've done showing the projection of that commercial on the side of my house. So in this video, I'm trying to show you the setup and hopefully the final implementation of the automated sequence of equipment that will trigger the showing of this video. And at the end of the video, basically, once the video goes off, then I'm trying to incorporate an effect that I've shown previously, which is the silhouette of Rod Serling that occurs at the real Tower of Terror, at least in the Walt Disney World version, uh, in the top of the Tower of Terror. So I hope it works out, um, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. So here is the system that's feeding the audio and the video to the projector and the speakers for the uh, show. Uh, what happens is that there's a media player here. It's a Sprite media player and the file for the Tower of Terror commercial and the sound are on that data card. Um, it plays it and the sound goes out of the media player is fed into a 18-inch uh, powered subwoofer and then that comes out and, and uh, feeds back into the amplifier and then the amplifier outputs the sound via these uh, black speak cords going to the either corner, lower corner of the side of the house. There's one there and the other one's down there and the projection goes on the side of this house. Um, the visual part, the video is output via HDMI and the HDMI cable feeds back into this HD, uh, rather uh, HDMI over CAT 567 cable and so the HDMI is feeding in from the media player into this HDMI Balin um, and then it's coming out via a CAT 7 rather a CAT 6E cable and those CAT6 cables, uh, this is it here, are being fed through uh, conduit. And they go all the way um, around the house, basically, and in the backyard, and they're feeding over to the uh, projector that you're seeing way over there. There's a receiver over there that I'll show you in just a minute. There is a motion detector sensor that's feeding into the sprite player which is this cable here and this cable is basically um, feeding over here temporarily just laid on the ground but it's going over to the corner of the house and you can see there's a little black sensor right there mounted on the side of the house and as people walk by that switches the media player from the ambient sound which is uh, thunder and lightning and uh, key music that's playing and that switches the media player to start playing the Tower of Terror commercial segment. So here's the projector end of things. As I mentioned, the HDMI signals fed over category 6E cabling, runs through conduits about 150 feet, feeds into this junction box here. And it's the white cable that's feeding into the HDMI balin, and it feeds into that. It's converted in the balin into an HDMI signal, which is going out the black HDMI cable and over to the projector right there. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, the projector is being projected onto the side of the house there. And you see the two black speakers on either side. So summarizing the plan for how things work is that the magic band reader here um, is triggered by the magic band, which triggers the uh, basically the welcome to the Tower of Terror. Um, you go through the gate here, enter the backyard. Um, at this point, the thunder and lightning soundtrack plus the 
ambient cue music is playing automatically and you proceed towards the entrance to the Tower of Terror theater set. And once you reach right here, you see the black motion trigger. That triggers the Sprite media player to advance and uh, it will start to play the Tower of Terror commercial about um, 30 seconds or so after it's triggered. The white thing you see on the side of the house there is a motion trigger for the Control 4 automation system in the home, which will turn on a light in the bedroom up there, that window up there, which has the uh, silhouette of supposedly Rod Serling that is present at the Tower of Terror. And at the end of the commercial video, when the lights are off, uh, the lights in that room will come on, highlight highlighting the silhouette. So that's the plan. Let's see if it works once it gets dark. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Hello and welcome to the Tower Hotel. Due to renovations, we kindly ask that you proceed through the side gate and enter through the rear of the building. Thank you for your cooperation. Dear guests, please proceed into the boiler room where you will receive a call shortly regarding your reservation. Yay! It worked. Next time, we're going to include some additional laser projection mapping effects. Thanks for watching.